Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and pubescent teens, welcome to another Squatting Dog video. Today we are talking about one topic and one topic alone. Seven reasons why you should never use Aura. Ever. Ever. Ever again. You might be asking yourself, why squatting? Why Aura? The Aura is my favorite thing that has ever happened into the item shop. Aura is beautiful. It was designed by an incredible person in the Fortnite community, and it is my spirit animal. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, but it's time to dissect why Aura is the worst and why you, in fact, are super an original now. Let's break it down. First of all, let's talk about the pronunciation. Here we have Aura. Aura? Aurora? Aura? Orga? Orar? Aura? How do you even pronounce it? All right, let's be honest. The uh, whole entire name, the basics, the building blocks of principles in which this name is founded, we don't even know how to pronounce it. Let's be honest. I say aura, you say aura. We'll never understand or come to any type of real agreement of how to pronounce this name. Aura. 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 Moving on to number two. And this one's a doozy for all of you that love cosmetics. You better believe it. Aura doesn't even have a back bling. <gasps> yes, but don't you fret. Fortnite has you covered. You can spend some more V-Bucks to purchase the back blings that should have come with Aura in the first place. Introducing Gold Chain and Goldie Lock. Your choice at however you want to make Aura look good by spending more money. Now don't get me wrong, two edit styles is pretty crazy out here, but if you look like every single person in the lobby, aren't you just another kid in uniform at a private school? For number three, I had to jump into a game to show you the audacity and tyranny that is Aura. Unfortunately, when you equip this skin, Take the L takes up all of your emote slots. Don't believe me? Wait, let me switch to something else. Hmm. Wonder which one I should pick. I'll do Take the L. I feel the same way, Mother Tucker. Now, if one through three weren't enough to play with Aura, let's see what other people think. Let's go to Pro Games Guides, and they have officially compiled a list of Fortnite's best skins ranked from Season 3, 2020. And let's go see where Aura is on that list. Hmm, not number one, or number two, or number three, or number four, nine, 10, 11, 12. Aha! In 20th is Aura. With a rating of 3.9 out of 5. Average score to most. But more importantly, getting 20 in a BR is not going to give you the Vic Roy you need. So you better kick Aura out of your life. And you might get that number one spot you've always been looking for. Number five. It's one of the most hated skins in Fortnite's history. I'm gonna back this up with an article I found online that conveniently aligns itself with my, my thinking. Down at number four is Aura. Let's dig in. It reads, Aura, like Crystal, is a well-known sweaty skin in Fortnite. Unlike Crystal, however, it seems to be the skin that a lot of wannabe good players choose. 
There are good Aura players out there, but there are even more bad ones. There's something that is inherently annoying about seeing a bad player use a sweaty skin, as if the community wants to barricade these skins and only let the best players use them. Aura might be the most common sweat skin in Fortnite, so this feeling has led the skin to becoming one of the most hated skins in the game. So if I'm reading this article correctly, this article is pretty much saying anybody that uses Aura is a wannabe good player. Are you a wannabe good player? Number six, face tattoos. If you look real close, you might notice four markings on Aura's face. If you think those are Sharpies, think again. Those are 100% face tattoos. I'm about 23% positive it is. In fact, have you met a bunch of face tattooed people before? Well, I'll just let the visuals do the talking. Roll it. I don't know about you, but I don't think I want to be associated with somebody who intentionally drew a spider all over his face for a tattoo. And number seven, it actually breaks keyboards. And for this segment, I need a little help from my friend Pizzo, who I watch all of his videos for cosmetic guides and understanding of how things work in the cosmetic world of Fortnite. So let's check it out. Um, is it Aura? Possibly. I like your chain too, man. Why is why is my W key oh no, did I actually break my keyboard? No, don't tell me I actually broke my keyboard. Oh It's Fortnite, dude. There's no way this is my keyboard. Our keyboard's broke, so we're on controller, I guess. And if you were curious, that was 100% my reaction to Pizzo's unfortunate keyboard breaking because of Aura. I'm sorry, Pizzo. And I'm sorry to all of the other people out there that have broken keyboards because of buying a skin in this game. Can I get squatting sats in chat? And a lot of you guys might be thinking to yourself, like, but it's so cool, everybody's using it, everybody loves this skin. Well, let's take a look at how iTalk reacted to first seeing Aura when it came out. Roll it. Oh, my goodness, uh, Aura, interesting. Again, a skin I was really not, I'm kind of confused by this skin, honestly. Who isn't, iTalk? I like them, I like them. Who isn't? And after I painstakingly spent minutes of research on this skin, finding articles after article that conveniently aligned with my perspective, you want one thing from me right now. What is my ultimate review of Aura? And given that you, your best friend, your best best friend, your better friend, the friend that also that's kind of your friend but not really your friend, your dad, your mom, your sister, your brother, your other brother, your brother's sister, your dog, everyone in the neighborhood, and everyone you see online, and every match you ever play, all have this skin and play it way too much. I give this skin a 0.5 out of 5. Or a body pillows. <laughs> If you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you uh, enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. And if you want more of this specific type of content, be sure to leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day, great evening, and afternoon. I'll see you in the next one.
I'm just kidding. If you like Cora, play with her. Bye. No.